Assalamualaikum everyone. How are you doing? So um, I'm here with this video about all about the Photoshop CS2 that we are doing in grade seven. Uh, hopefully, we will this video will cover everything you need to know that is in the syllabus for uh, this year. So basically, our objective is to learn the basics of image editing, the manipulation, and poster image creation using tools and layer concept in Photoshop. What you need is, first of all, of course, you will need to install, you would have installed Photoshop CS2 as, um, as explained in the classes. You do need dedication to do your work. I know that ICT comes last for most of you, but still, I hope that this, uh, this uh, topic is very interesting for all of you to do. Then curiosity is required because you need to learn everything about the photoshop that is even not in the syllabus imagination you will need to create a lot of things you will need to uh, do uh, just like in art you will be creating like uh, posters or uh, you will be doing shapes and you'll be using colors so you do need imagination to create that and then of course you need creativity to do your work so let's see that what is our and the plan for this video first i will introduce you with the interface that uh, with the layout and everything about different parts of photoshop okay so if you don't find it you can find it here in the menu so this is our photoshop window or the interface or the layout and everything and for the CS2 version, the reason that we are using the CS2 version is that it is a free version that we can use now um, and we won't have any problems with the license and everything. Every time when you open Photoshop, you will see this registration window. Every time select do not register or something. So coming back to this, the layout the interface the interface is how you are interacting with the computer what the software is giving you what the software is showing you adobe is the name of the company photoshop is the name of the software and cs2 is the version that we are using this is the menu file edit image layer select filter they are like grayed out because we don't have any image open right now Okay, so coming back to the introduction of the layout and different parts of the Photoshop. Let's first open the Photoshop over here and you will find it in the toolbar. As I told before, that you will find this registration window open every time so select do not register and if you find this the welcome screen you can uncheck this option show this dialog at the start of or you can leave it as it is and close it so here are the different palettes available you will only need for your work you will need this layers palette if you don't see it you can go to window and select this layers or you can press F7 key from the keyboard now how to open a file in Photoshop that is the first thing um, first of all okay let's see this is the toolbox that you will see in the toolbox you will find different tools that you will be using for your poster creation we have this marquee tool that is a kind of a select tool you have this move tool where you can select and move your objects on the screen lasso tool also kind of a selection tool magic wand also a selection tool crop I think all of you know what is a crop tool we don't need to know the slice tool for now uh, brush tool will be using different brushes just to you know kind of a painting then we have a razor tool you can press and hold if you find an arrow with the tool you can press and hold it and you will find different options for the same tool here you have a razor a background eraser and the magic eraser and you have a gradient and a bucket tool paint bucket is a solid fill uh, paint 
and gradient is a gradient fill tool then you have the text tool you have uh, okay leave this you don't need the shapes tool you have different shapes available you have a color picker for example if you want an R or eyedropper tool you want a specific color from another picture that you want to use and you don't know what is the like how to get that color you can use this color picker now for this uh, video we'll be using two examples and you can see we have this image which has a background a blue background and some different colors we'll be changing the colors and we'll be selecting and specific colors and you can change that uh, we have done this in the class like this and we have added the text and also we'll be seeing that how to create something like this using different shapes different layers uh, you change the transparency of the layer so that you can see the images through uh, see the shapes through the other shapes coming back to Photoshop for example if I want to open this this image in Photoshop you can right click on the image open with and here you will see Photoshop do not select always use this app you can open it like this or you can go to the file folder where your folder is um, example I want this one so you can click and drag it that is the easiest way you can click and drag your picture or you can open it from the menu you can have the recent files many of you have this problem that you don't remember that where you saved your files so you can go to the open recent and you can open your recent files so our task or your task is to change the background color change the overall colors the very easiest way to do this go to image adjustments and you have this hue saturation replace color will you see all of that hue saturation means hue is a different types of colors different shades as you can see but what is happening over here the the whole image colors are being changed if you want to use that that's fine but if your task is just to change the background color to black or white maybe then you cannot use this but yes you can for example use a replace color so in the replace color what happens it asks you what color do you want to replace and what color do you want to replace it with this is a kind of a dropper uh, uh, cursor you select this color and it will tell you the white areas mean that this is where you want to change the replacement will be easy enough right and you can see the shadows they remain everything else remains the same and if you don't want it then you can always go back using the edit step backward or if there is some image that uh, like uh, that is difficult that the background is like not same with the different shades you can use the selection tool that is a magic wand and you can click on the areas that you want for example um, you can add this area you can select this options new selection add to the selection subtract from selection you can add the for example this pink book also in your selection you can add this you can add the shadows okay and then for example you can apply the same thing or you can apply the hue saturation in the selected areas so this way but see this half part is changed the half part is not changed because we had not selected it so this is another way to change the colors in any image or you can right click and layer via cut or layer via copy let's layer via cut meaning that this areas that are selected will be cut and a new layer will be created if you see this okay so here if you uncheck it of course the everything will be gone and you can then add a new layer and for example if you want to add a gradient we already have this gradient you can select the gradient tool from here 
you can select your colors double click here and you can select your colors you can add more although it doesn't look good so you can want to remove it you can click and drag it away so here is my palette which I really like so okay and I'm going to select this layer to make sure that the thing that you are changing or whatever you are inserting the layer is the proper layer is selected oh what happened here so like the thing is we added a layer that is on top of the background which is why we don't see it but we cannot move this background because this is locked so there is one way to do it you can right click on it and you can layer from background like you can change the background to a proper layer it will be a layer 0 so you can now move it up again but what happened over here because there is a white area you can erase and you can use the magic eraser erase the white color okay so we have seen what's in the toolbox the colors how to use the foreground and the background colors let's come back to this Photoshop we will open this file again open with Photoshop okay so we have this these two colors this is the foreground color and the background color now where is this background the foreground colors used for example if your background color is red and if you use the eraser tool let's minimize the brush then whatever the background color is that will be applied with the eraser like what will come at the back that is a background color you can change it back to the black and white you can click here and then it will change back to this one and this one you can use for the erasing of the background another eraser tool is the magic eraser you can click on one color and wherever it finds the color it will erase it so it will be throughout the image so you can see wherever the uh, it will find the boundary it will change it and this black this gray and white checkbox means that there is actually no image here white is uh, sorry no color white is also a color so that is not showing a white this means that there is literally no color at the back and then you can add a layer and the gradient tool and bring your layer up so that it comes above that tool so that makes a very good thing for example now if I want to remove this shadow over here then you can again select this uh, magic eraser and you can click on the blue part okay or you can you know change it to black or purple or wherever whatever you would like to have then you can apply a solid color as well a paint bucket tool and you can apply for example this one I okay in the color dropper tool color picker you can change this and you want to change the shade of the pink or you want to change it to let's select it again and let's select a darker color okay if this happens that your image goes away something just click on the screen it will come back and see wherever it finds the boundary it just um, changes it you can change this here you can change this purple to pink this to pink okay this is a solid bucket tool color bucket tool I'm going to just undo it using the keys uh, alt shift Z which will change my colors back to normal so this was the using the gradient the bucket tool the eraser tool you can simply erase the magic eraser means that as you can see over here the diameter you can change it this is that option box like whatever options you will find for the toolbox uh, for the tool that you have selected will find them here now select the layer that you want to erase and then select the eraser this will ch erase the background
Now this is not being erased because it is already in the other layer. If you want to erase that, you have to select the proper layer. Let's not destroy our image too much. And it has been destroyed because we cannot step backward more than a few steps. Okay, let's then close it without saving it. Please no. And let's open it again. Open from recent. Okay. So adding the text. You can simply select the text tool you have the font selected, the size, alignment, the color of the text CS2 or you can write your own name then you can you know when you move your mouse over it then you will see this a black cursor, black uh, uh, arrow with the plus sign that means that you can move it and also you can change the font size and if you want to change it more you can select the move tool and show the transform controls and you can increase the size you have to be very careful that it doesn't look you know distorted when you increase the size it doesn't look too much elongated or too much wide and then press enter okay so this was our uh, this image that you wanted to change the background of now let's close it again and open this file make this some make something like this so basically this is your assignment to do okay so we have seen the colors you have seen how to change the background colors how to erase the colors and how to arrange using the background eraser tool now we will see all about the layers that we have to do adding <coughs> deleting arranging and changing the transparency of the layers coming back to our Photoshop um, there's also this assignment that you need to do this is assignment one uh, download the images from my website and change the colors we have seen that assignment in the previous task the assignment 2 is to create an A4 size poster using different shapes now A4 size first of all let's start a new document from file new and here you will give the name of your document um, ok let's make colors and shapes preset gives you the different sizes that are available to you for selection in Photoshop the A4 size is a standard paper size that we use for the printing don't change anything else you don't need to change the resolution the color mode and anything so just press OK for that so this is your A4 size image you can change the window and you can maximize it or you can minimize it now here we have uh, simply one layer that is a background unlocked layer your task is to insert as many shapes as you want different shapes triangles squares circles and to create a beautiful poster you can use the select the shapes from here let's start with the rectangle tool I told you in the option bar you will see different options available for the rectangle tools you can have different uh, directly tools here now this is important that you can add to the shape you can subtract from the shape or you can intersect the shape and you can uh, like intersect the shape and then style don't change the style just change the colors from here simple a simple shape you can zoom in sorry that is now you can select the move tool and you can move your shape let's start from the middle it's kind of a scare you can have the width and the height same as you can see 
and then you have to when you use the move tool and when you change something when you change the uh, size of something then you need to press the ok or apply the transformation over here then let's ok let's keep adding more shapes let's add more this is a new shape I did not add it to the layer already shape I added a new shape you can change the color if you were not able to change this color then you can change the color from here like this now let's have a different color then another shape from here another shape here I want to change this color so let's change the color to something yellow let's find a good yellow okay. let's add another shape over here again you can change the color now let's just move around these tools let's do something like this you'll have to select from the layer itself to bring them to the middle okay now what I want to do is I want to bring this the main the uh, first shape up above all and to make it a little bit transparent so that I can see the other shapes through it so the transparency is done from the opacity option over here you can select the opacity percentage and as you can see that's very cool image you can change the transparency to 50 percent see or you can make it bigger and this is your image so you can add as many images as you want you can change the transparency to make it something you know cooler bigger you can add more circles so again use your imagination you have four circles you can change the colors of the circles or you again you can change the transparency of the circles you can bring them up change the transparency to more okay so waiting for your assignments or something like this use your own creativity use your own imagination use many different colors but they should look good together they shouldn't be too much contrasting you know too much you know hurting to the eyes or something like that so uh, and uh, I would like you to get it printed get it printed and submit it to me and will be displayed on the board okay so this is our final image uh, you have you see that I have made copies of the same image so that the size and the colors are the uh, are equal on both sides on all the four sides inserted some text over here now to save your file you need to go to file save and uh, by default it will be saved as a PSD document so save it maximize compatibility press ok and if you want but this PSD means that all the layers information will also be saved it is not an image that you can use but so you need to file save as in the save as change the format to JPEG or JPEG or JPG and then save and this way you can check in your uh, files over here this is your image file
Okay, best of luck for your assignment and waiting for it to see the printouts.